Yo, what's up, Sexy Sandlander Squad? The PTS for Lancelot just came out, the new patch. Obviously, including the new Arthurian, I want to say God, but he's the character Lancelot. He's very mythical, raised by Morgan Le Fay. Um, and fucked King Arthur's wife. That's actually true lore. So just, you know, so, so you know. Um, obviously, he is a lance-wielding melee character. By the look of him, you think he's a warrior, but actually he's an assassin. And he has kind of two uh, stances. He is kind of a stance switcher in the sense that his three jumps him onto his horse. When he's on his horse, you are always moving forward and you get a new one and two ability. And your alt is the same, both unmounted and mounted, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, I'll give you the quick rundown of everything real quick. Obviously, I'm just going to go into... Um, he's a, a ability-based assassin, so Bluestone Transcendence build, you know, Crusher, stuff like that. It's going to be really good on him. Um, and I'll just get one of each of his abilities so I can show you what they do. Uh, his one... I'm going to go ahead and throw everything on quick cast so you guys can see the animations of them. The one... I'm, I'm ready. I'm good to go. Huh? I don't have a stun, no. Um, His one is this little kind of a nem dash looking thing. He dashes forward. If he hits anything, minion, uh, jungle minion, god, doesn't matter. If he hits literally anything, he gets a second use of the, the one to dash back through whatever he stabbed. So like... Let's see. I'm going to auto. Obviously, my third auto is going to be a cleave. I'm going to be able to dash through it. Dash through again. Cancel that. His two is going to be a very close range knockup into a very larger swipe at the end of it, as you saw there. The uh, the very brief animation that you were able to see. It's a knockup. Very close. And then a little tiny swipe of damage that you can do afterwards. And I'll show you it one more time here. Oof, oof. Uh, my one, by the way, does do damage through everything that you go through. It doesn't stop on the first god hit. It will go through everything. Um, let me just show you. Boop. Boop, boop. And then knock up swipe. Damaging. And my third auto, just like a lot of guardians or warriors, my third auto has the auto attack chain. Dash through that. Dash through. Knock up boop. Oh, good. All right. My three, which is basically my stance change, kind of like tier. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it. You immediately get on your mount. And while on your mount, you have a little bit extra movement speed. The movement speed does scale up with um, your passive, which is just the more damage you do, the more kills you get, god kills or minion kills. It will increase your protections and your movement speed. Um, or, I'm sorry, your basic attack reduction and your movement speed while on the mount. So, um, it's pretty sick. As you can see, I have a shield now. This shield is going to give me... It's going to slowly charge up all the way to the maximum, which is 740 HP shield. The more you level up your horse, the more um, the shield is. I don't know why. It doesn't say it here, but that's because... I'm in my stance. And now every ability that is that you have on your horse. Oh, here you can see the shield. So at rank one, it's 180. It goes all the way up to 740. It's a pretty big shield. But um, now your horse, you have different abilities. Your one and two change. Your three is just this quick turn. It's just a 180. It does have a cooldown, a very short one. It's about four seconds, but you can 180 with it. Uh, like I said, when you're on your horse or your mount, you will literally never stop moving forward. So the quick turn is actually pretty important. Um, your one and two both dismount you. You cannot use an ability while mounted or auto attack or consumable. <coughs> excuse me. Or a relic. So it's kind of, it's similar to like a Wheelix's Suku. You really can't just go for it. You really got to pick your timing with the mount. But it is good because the extra movement speed and the shield really helps you either get in there to engage, lets you take a few hits while you're running in, or maybe, who knows, survive 
while you're running out. The shield, if it is depleted, can you deplete my shield, please, babe? If your shield is depleted, you get unmounted, obviously, like I just showed you. So um, it's not going to be that great for running away because if anyone sees you running, they're just going to, I mean, they're just going to hit you once or twice. Take that shield out. Obviously, later in the game when it's 740 HP, it's going to be a little harder to remove, but, you know, is what it is. Um, now, I've shown you the first ability on this when he throws his mouth forward. The second is he jumps up in the air, lands down with a tiny slam. Get away from me. He lands down with a, <laughs> with a tiny slam that um, doesn't knock up, but it does do a really good amount of damage. And the it actually roots... Oh, I guess minions just took me out of my mount form there. But it actually roots your... Um, your enemies anyone in the little cone the uh, the original little cone they get rooted i'll go ahead and i'll just show you Oop, tiny root into a slam down and um yeah i mean that's that's all of his abilities obviously other than his alt his alt is super cool as you can see from the targeter i just want to make sure it's on uh quick so i don't use it um it is this big thing it shows up immediately throws you onto your horse <coughs> I will. I'm explaining it first. It throws you on your horse. Everything in this big area is um, rooted when you throw the, the thing out. And then you go extremely quick. Anyone you run into on your horse takes damage. And then it keeps you on your horse for an additional ability usage. Like, let's say, your one or your two. Now, you can pair that with your three and your ultimate to get extra uses of your horse abilities for insane amounts of burst damage. So, like, I could jump on my three. Like, I could jump on my horse and then use my one and then alt, which will put me back on my horse, and then I could use my one again. So you can do a lot of really cool um, cooldown manipulation with his alt. And the big root area, I mean, I just think they've never... <laughs> They've never actually had just kind of a simple but very effective alt. I will say his damage feels incredible. His damage feels so strong, man. And it's not even like... um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just have trans and tier two hydras and I just two comboed the buff. Obviously he might be a little over tuned. He did just come out. So it only makes sense. But, uh, I mean, his clear feels fantastic. I'm going to throw things back on instant because that's what I use all the time. Um, his, his clear seems amazing with the one. And I actually, I want to show you this kind of manipulation you can have with your horse. So I'm going to one and then I'll alt and then I'll be on my horse again. And then I can throw him again into my abilities. <laughs> and I can actually horse again. So the, um, they did mention that... The only real amount of poke that you're going to be able to do with this character is with this three, which is why they didn't give it too long of a cooldown. It's, it's, I mean, I want, I don't want to say it's not short, right? But, um, it's manageable. You know, I, I have no cooldown yet and it's only a 13 second cooldown. So obviously when you're max cooldown, that bitch is going to be like, I'm going to be horsing people every seven or eight seconds. It's pretty insane. Um, I'll grab my Hydras, and then I guess I'll just, like, go into Crusher. I'm just trying to get damage. And so far, obviously, this is the a first look video, so it's the first time I've played him. Um, I watched the video about him. I read all the abilities, so I know what everything does. In case you're wondering, how is this the first time you're playing him if you're explaining him like that? But, um, so far, everything seems incredibly fluid. Even his auto attacks. It's crazy that a I guess mounted or maybe a two being character can feel 
smooth. Like, I find it very insane that they can make getting on the horse. Boop, boop. That's insane. That's insane. Like, I used my horse twice. I can double dash through you. And my alt hit you for 400. Jeez Louise, man. Jeez Louise. Also, uh, I know I've used the one kind of back to back over and over. It doesn't have to be used to back. It doesn't have to be used back to back. You can kind of hold it like you can Nem Dash and a Achilles 3. You can kind of hold it and um, like cancel it and use another ability before you use your second dash. Dude, it's crazy because you can actually use your, your mount to clear instead of using it to get around. Because the movement speed I really don't feel like is that good. I really don't feel like it's that good. Um, But yeah, the, the passive, I know I said it before, but I'll say it again. The movement speed you get is while you're mounted. The basic attack reduction you get is only when you're dismounted. I don't think I said that before. So you don't get both things. Ouch. Huh? You have no idea what's going on? Yeah. It's pretty insane. I mean, the, uh, the damage he does when he jumps off the horse is actually higher than the damage he does when he throws the horse, as you can see here. Obviously, the scaling is higher. And the, uh, the base damage is higher. So you're going to be doing a lot more damage with your two than you are your one. I haven't been using it to clear because I didn't know if the range was big enough. But it, I mean, it definitely is. It's as big as Mercury's one before they nerfed it. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but it's insane. It is super insane. I, I don't know. For an assassin player like I am because I every I have every assassin diamond now um so for an assassin player I can tell you if an assassin is gonna be good literally on my first time playing them <laughs> it's crazy isn't it I know I know it's insane why does he what? This scaling is very good. I have 234 power. My my ultimate does 120% scaling. So it does a ton of fucking damage. Like right now, I'm not even max level. Right now, my ult is hitting for over 600. Um, My 2 does... Uh, holy fuck. Four. My 2 does about 7 something. And my one, because I can use it twice, is going to do about 800. And then on top of that, my two, or my my thing, I can use my horse, and then use my horse again, and then double dash. It's just like, it's so insane. Good ages, by the way. It's so insane. Like, the DPS output is just... It's so good. But I will say, even though his scaling is super high, he is an, uh, an ability-based assassin. He kind of needs to have that scaling. He's not going to get in there and live <laughs> if, uh, if um, he doesn't have the scaling, right? Like, his, his goal is not something like Zhang Kui, who gets in there and, like, does damage, or, like, a warrior who's relatively tanky, his base defenses and base HP are low. He does take just as much damage as he deals. The only issue is that the extra HP you get on the shield or with the shield in the horse stance or mounted stance, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Um, That HP goes a really long way because right now you can see my shield tick up. I have a 780 HP shield. Like, I can just run around 
I can take a fucking Phoenix shot and run out, you know, and it still won't dismount me. None of the damage I'm taking matters, you know? And then I jump off. My shield is gone anyways. And then I can alt and get that initial shield back. Because when you use your mount up, you get an initial health shield of 140. So just by mounting up, it starts at 140 and it goes up to 740. Okay, BM. It starts at 140 and then... Okay, I don't know if that was intended. I don't know if it's intended that... Oh my god. I don't know if it's intended that you get the entirety of your health shield when you ult. That seems... A lot. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, it probably is intended. Dealing damage to enemies... Refreshes his mounted health shield. Okay, so... <clears throat> that's how you get it. If you, if you ult and you don't hit anything... Eh, you're kind of shit out of luck. It makes sense. That does make sense. Hydra's works very well on him, by the way. Because he has so many abilities that you can use. And you can abuse his cooldown so well. I'll be honest, man. I really like him. Like, you can feel... It sounds stupid to say, because obviously I'm just playing a video game. But you can feel the weight behind his auto attacks. Behind his ability. You can feel that the Lance isn't light you know like when you auto attack you feel like he's really revving it back you know it's is it too much yeah he's he's a lot for sure <laughs> well, yeah, no, he's he does a ton of damage. He does a lot of damage. But at the same time, I'm building him full damage, you know? Like, I don't know if you can pull this off as a jungler in Conquest, like this build. You're gonna get shredded if you don't kill him. I don't know. It feels impeccable, though. Like, the amount of DPS you can do. Time to ride, old friend. How much did my horse do to those minions? I don't even know. Alright. Let's try this. Holy fuck. Dude, what? Okay, uh, okay, look, let's be honest. <laughs> He's a new release. I think they might need to nerf his damage a teeny bit. A teeny bit. And by a teeny bit, I mean a lot. Like, they need, okay, they need to cut his numbers down. His alt should not deal a thousand damage. Right now, I know you guys can't see the scaling because of my face cam. It says 500 damage plus 470 on top of it. I'm doing a thousand damage with my alt. My two, you can see, you add the shield damage and the lance damage, and you get a bonus 15% because if you if you hit them with both. So like you're you're doing like what is that? That's 460 plus another 440. You're doing 900 damage with your two plus 15%. So over a thousand with your two, a thousand with your alt, uh five hundred with your one, which you can use twice. So a thousand with that too. And you get two extra abilities on top of that that are also doing a thousand each. Like, I don't know, man. I can pump like 6k damage out in four seconds. That's dummy insane. I think I'm just going to go ahead and win now because like, holy shit. I don't know. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at the DPS. I didn't even use my fourth ability. I didn't even have to use my fourth ability. My one did 800 damage to the Titan by itself. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Now, obviously, this isn't a 1v1 scenario. And he is made... They did say he is made to be a dueler. He's made to be a jouster. You know, like... 
Lancelot's whole thing is he jousts with horses and lances. And uh, they made his his one-on-one -on -one very, very, very strong. I don't really know what to tell you other than uh, don't... If you're, if you're going to play PTS or if you're waiting for Lancelot to be released... Uh, don't challenge him one-on-one. -on -one. You you wait to for someone to show up and gank him. Because, my God. <laughs> His damage is incredible. That being said, as much as I do think he might be a little bit overtuned, I love him. I mean, obviously, like I said before, I'm an assassin player, so he kind of speaks to me on that level already. Like the aggression and the mobility with the three. Um... But the fact that you can uh, like you can auto attack cancel so easily with your one and your two, it feels so smooth. Um, I love auto attack canceling gods like Kali and Nemesis and and Lancelot, and the fact that you can not only cooldown manipulate with your three and your ult as like comboing, but also the fact that when you three and you ult, you also get that massive shield after your ult. So you could do it in the middle of a fight to potentially get out. So he's got some decent survivability in that aspect. Like running away ability. I don't know. I like him a lot. I think they did a really good job. Again, I just think they need to tune the numbers down a little bit. But it's the PTS. I'm sure they'll catch it. I'm sure they'll lower it a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed the first look video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, boys. Peace.